final video, we're going to put all of our movements together in our multi-directional cone drills. Now these are going to involve three different drills. A two cone drill that's going to be called the U drill. A three cone drill called the lateral weave and a four cone drill called the box drill. Let's get started. The first drill is going to be a two cone drill called the U drill. Now this is going to incorporate everything that we've talked about already. The acceleration, the deceleration, and also the change of direction. So the first thing we're going to do is this. We're going to start with our hips low, touching the cone. Again, we don't want to stand tall and do this. We want to be low, touching the cone, chin up, and chest up, allowing me to have a smooth and efficient change of direction. As I come into my back pedal, as we come around, we come around, slight shuffle, around the U, and then we accelerate back forward again, and then I'm touching with my inside hand, which is my left hand, keeping the hips low. Again, back pedaling back around in a U shape, accelerating, touch of the cone, hips low, chin up, chest out, to maintain an efficient and effective movement. Back pedaling around the U, accelerating, and touching. Now when we're putting it all together, it looks like this. Accelerate, touch, back pedal, accelerate, touch, making sure that we accelerate, we keep our hips low in the change of direction, and that we put our feet in the proper position, striking below the hips to make sure we have an efficient and effective movement. In our second drill, we're going to be doing a three cone drill. And this is going to be called the lateral weave. Now here is where we want to make sure that we maintain our nose, knees, toes position. Right now it's ever so critical because our important piece of this is making sure that we maintain our balance and body control. Now, the most important thing is how we start. Feet shoulder width apart. We want to start going up through the cone here in a shuffling type manner. And then we're weaving in and out of the cones. If you notice, I'm taking small, short, choppy steps that are going to allow me to move my feet quick and efficiently, all right? If you get into the big movements where you're moving around like this, you become a much less efficient athlete. Our goal is to keep our feet under our hips, moving quickly. So in a faster speed, it looks like this. Our goal again, quick feet. We don't want to kick and we don't want to cross. Keeping our feet wide and making sure that you're efficient, you're guaranteed to get the best result out of this drill. For our third and final cone drill in our multi-directional cone work, what we're looking to do right now is a four cone drill called the square drill. This is a neat drill because it gives us an opportunity to incorporate all the things that we've learned movement wise to this point. Now, what's important is the setup of the cones. Right now I have my cones at four yards apart. As long as it makes a square, there's four yards on each side, but you can have them as narrow as three yards on each side or as wide as 10, depending on your preference. Now, the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna get started at the bottom left cone. Again, starting in an athletic position, nose, knees, and toes. We're gonna accelerate, linear acceleration. Once we get here, we're gonna just drop and square it as well as we can. We really don't want to round this motion. We want to make it as square as possible, staying as tight around the cones as you can. Then we're going to do a lateral shuffle. Once we get past the cone, we're going to get into a back pedal. Notice, nose, knees, toes. Once we get past the cone, another lateral shuffle to the left. This is where our wedge step comes in. Wedge step, crossover step, then acceleration through the cone. The biggest part of this drill is making sure that you do this under control. Stay as close as you can to the cones and make sure you make the turns as square as possible. Here's how it looks in a faster speed. Again, starting athletic, you can accelerate. Quick crossover step. That was our four cone square drill. Now remember, anything that you do on the left side, you must do on the right side to maintain the neuromuscular balance to help you prevent injuries. Now that concludes our six video series on footwork, agility, and acceleration. You can use all of these drills to enhance your performance. 
Remember, utilize these drills and get better every day.